Hello everybody, this is Jonathan and today I'll be showing you guys how to add text inside of a box which will have a background colour and it will also have a border to it as well and the border can be any colour you want and the background can be whatever colour you want and the guys can even change the um, the actual colour of the text as well if you truly wanted to so that way it matches up with the actual um, with the actual um, background colour so we will be able to see it properly so for when I want to update um, to add the style to it's going to be on the third paragraph so I do one, two, three. This is when I want to add the style to. If I put down div, now we have to have to give it a class, um, and the class will allow us to customize the way that the actual um, information will be displayed, and we can add styling to it. For example, adding the box that I want to do. So I'm going to call this one box because we're creating a box, and I'm going to do the end div tag right over there. Um, what you guys need to do now is that you guys will need to make sure that it will have the CSS file because that's what I'm going to be using. Um, but what you guys need to do is do link rel style sheet href is equal to, um, and you just paste down the um, the link where we have it have the CSS file at. So it could be in any directory that we basically have saved it in. So for one, I have a styles CSS. Um, over here is the styles.css, and I'm going to be um, doing some CSS coding. So all you need to do is do dot box because dot basically means that you want to um, change a class. And now what we guys can now do is start styling the box. So what I'm going to do firstly, I'm going to add in a padding to it. So padding is the spacing um, which we need. So we can do like 12 px. And we won't do anything, um, but as you guys can see, it does kind of give us spacing now. Um, now what I want to do is give it a background color and you guys can give it any background color you want so for example we can give it blue violent you can give it brown you guys can give it blue or guys can give it black and so on i'm going to just give this one being um pink so we'll have a pink background to it so if i put down pink as you guys can see we're able to put text um on top of a um or on top of a box basically so we're able to do something like this now let me go and give it a border so to give it a border what you guys need to do is do border width to begin with this is quite important now you guys can give this one a width of 12 px and now let me press on the enter key and now you guys can do border style and you guys can choose which of a style you want there's dotted there's dash there's double and there's groovy i'm going to select dashed if i press on to control s as you guys can see it has dashes in it now if i go back if i now do the same thing if i select the um I think that the, um, the double one is different, isn't it? Yep, as you guys can see, it changes the border style. If you guys just want to have the um, basic, the classic um, style to it, what you guys should click on is solid, and I'll give it for style look. But I don't like the style look that much. So the one I'm going to be selecting is going to be the, um, the double one, because I really like this one. This one looks pretty cool, as you guys can see. I love this one so much. Um, this one looks pretty cool. So what you guys now need can do is that now you guys should be able to um, be able to change the border color. To do so, all you need to do is do border color, and you guys can choose which color you want to, see, to, to choose. So for example, I can change it to being blue, and now as you guys can see, the border color is now blue. Um, what you guys can also change the font within the box. So all you need to do is do um, a font. Um, font family and the guy should be able to choose which of this font you want For what I'll be choosing is going to be sans serif and the guys can click on to control s and now it's, it changes the actual font as you guys can see um, you guys can also change the um, change the actual um, font color by doing color it's only color really to it um, so guys can give it a color of being pink so that should change the text to being pink and now we can't even see it because the background is also pink. So you guys need to make sure that what people were able to see the color. So I'm going to change the font to being white and that should change the text color to being white. But you can't see it still so I'm going to change it to being um, blue. And that should be a lot easier to see as you guys can see. Um, so it has like a pink and blue sort of style to it. Um, what I would recommend is okay, it works fine. So we got whatever device you're on, it should just technically um, be able to view it easily. Um, I do believe. Yeah, it works fine. It should work fine on mobile devices as well. But as you guys can see, 
we kind of have a style kind of um, being created. So we're able to change the actual font. And um, what you guys can also do is you guys can do something like dot box, and now you guys can put down p, um, which p basically means that if there's any um, paragraph tags within the actual um, div tag, then all we need to do basically now is that now we should be able to customize how the paragraph would work. So we can just do the same with buttons, you guys can do the same with anything that is within this um, div class. So for example, if I was to change the paragraph from being, um, actually I can just copy the color and font family. Um, so if I kind of cut that, if I now put that, if I control S, you guys can see, well, I don't see any styling to it. But if I do that, then you guys should now see the styling to it. Okay, cool. So you guys should be able to do something like this. Um, so this updates the paragraph tag. So for in case, if we were to have like any headings in it, um, let me go back. And you just add in a heading to it. Why? Um, why is Linux your bestie? Now, if I want to control S, um, it's in the wrong place. I have to put this within for div tag. So, as you guys will be able to see, it should go right over there. Now, if I press control S, and now as you guys can see, we have it right over there. Um, what you guys can also do is go over there, press, press on the comma key, now you guys should be able to add in H1, and now hopefully it should be applied, as you guys can see, um, but this is not done correctly. So I, what, I, what I would do, um, because now this is also um, highlighted as blue, and we know that div tag is not there, so what I'm going to have to do is just get rid of this. Um, now calling a new one, I'm going to do box dot box, and I'm going to do H1. If I now grab these font styles, now that should apply the um, apply the style only to the box, right? Yes. So why is the next your best friend? And now as you guys can see, we have this. All the guys can also do is have the font um, style. Can we have it underline? Actually, it should be in the font family, right? Um, font. Um, family under one that won't work so I'm going to go back to h1 tag I'm just going to go and yeah this is not so I'm going to go back to the um to over there I'm going to go and change this one to having the um ul tag so that way it's um underlined I think it's u actually yeah it's u um so if I just change one to being u then that should now be highlighted it should be now underlined as you guys can see and you guys can also center stuff by going back to the box and now you guys can put down text align and you guys can put down center and that should put the text in the center as you guys can see you guys can change it to be to, to be on the right as you guys can see which doesn't look great it does it looks really bad to be honest you guys can change it to being on the left and you guys can change it to be on the right center so i'm going to change it change it for doing the to be in the center as you guys can see um, so this is how guys be able to create the box. Um, well guys can change the padding to get rid of the spaces. So for example, if I change it to being 1, it will make the box smaller. If I change it to being 13, then it should make it bigger. If I change it to be 16, it technically makes it bigger, as you guys can see. So you guys can use packsing to make the box bigger. But um, if I add no packsing to it, then it should just cover up the um, with less lines, with less, um, with less stuff being taken. There will be less spacing in it that make the box smaller. So if I just change this one to being 4px, I think that one looks pretty nice. If I now make this one full screen, as you guys can see, um, we were able to kind of update the actual box. Um, I'm going to go back over there. I'm going to change the padding to being maybe being like 16, um, control S. I'm going to change it to being 30, 46 actually. I think 46 is a good color. It's a good padding. So as you guys can see, this is how we'll be able to do something like this. Let me go back to Visual Studio. I'm going to change this one to being 16. And this is um, basically it really when it comes to creating the box with text inside of the box. Um, you guys can also have the images in it and you guys can customize how the image will be displayed. But this was meant to be like an introduction to being able to create uh, the boxes um, which will contain text inside of it. If you guys like this video, please put a like and please subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.